Hello, you're nine. Following on from your theme of identity, today you're going to produce a first-hand observational line drawing of your chosen footwear. Now, you can often tell a lot about a person by the shoes that they wear, so you're going to choose a piece of footwear that identifies you. So for this lesson, you're going to need a piece of good quality paper, preferably A4, a pencil, a rubber, make sure it's sharp, and a piece of footwear. Now, I've chosen my trainer because I believe, I really think that this trainer identifies me. I wear trainers a lot when not in work, so I use them for leisure, for relaxing, for just general day to day. And usually I'm always in trainers, so I feel that this does say a lot about me, and this identifies me. Now, I want you to pause the video to get your equipment, and I'll see you in a bit. Now that you've had your equipment and you've chosen your piece of footwear, and it could be a trainer, it could be a shoe, anything that you wear, for example, school shoes, slippers, trainers, shoes, it could be any type of footwear. All right? You're going to choose your position. Now, usually, we would have the trainer in front of us where we can see it, but because for this video, I'm going to have it at the side and hold it at the side so that you can see what I am drawing. So choose your position and you're going to draw from the side and what I want you to do is first you're going to break down your object into simple shapes. At this stage I don't want you to look at it as a trainer. I want you to look at your object as simple shapes. So here we can see that we get our midpoint. We can actually see that it's a triangle and a rectangle okay this helps us to get our shapes and proportions so let's get a baseline first near the bottom of the paper okay which is our baseline and then we're going to use our measuring and proportion skills to map out our simple shapes so this is a triangle I'm using my fingers just to help me now I'm doing this almost life size. Okay, so we've mapped out where our center point is. Alright, our center point. And we can see our first basic shape is more or less a triangle. Now I'm going to use my fingers to measure my proportions just to check. At this point, it is just sketching and mapping out okay and then I've got a rectangle here which goes across here all right a rectangle so I'm going to put in my rectangle shape now already we can see the shape of the trailer taking place again we're going to measure use my fingers measure my proportions now this needs to be a bit higher Okay, each rectangle from the center line again needs to come across a little bit more. So we're changing this and modifying it as we progress. Okay, so we're breaking our object down into simpler shapes and proportions. So we're starting with a gesture sketch, which basically is just a plan drawing. Using our fingers to measure our shapes and our proportions. Okay. Using our fingers to measure for our shapes and all of our proportions start and finish. I'm producing a loose gesture sketch. Okay, compare your shapes 
for sizing, compare it to other parts of the trainer just to check and recheck your sizes. All right, so we're mapping in our basic shapes and our key characteristic portions and irregular parts of the trainer and you can see now it's starting to take a little bit more shape it is important also that you are comfortable when you're drawing make sure you're very relaxed you draw with your arm and not just with your wrist okay keep it fluid fluid and comfortable keep your lines loose all right continuously looking at what you're doing and as you can see now I'm drawing in all of the little shapes let's map out some more shapes first looking at the molded area of the trainer bringing it down a little bit we'll put the grips in later we have to spend quite some time looking and re-looking at our trainers or our footwear checking and rechecking our shapes to try and get an accurate outline if you haven't got an accurate outline then your drawing will not be as successful looking at the swoop of where the foot goes the swoop and if you notice oops if you noticed, in order for me to draw this out carefully, I've actually traced it first with my pencil, and then I've done the same shape using muscle memory onto my paper. If I find anything difficult to do, I trace it first with my pencil, all right, and then I go over it with the same shape and line on your paper. See that swoop there? That beautiful swoop there where the toes are all of these little keeping it loose still all of these little shapes all of these little shapes matter looking very very carefully now at the back of the shoe all right so let's move this down a little bit looking very carefully at the back of the shoe Now I trace with my pencil, but you can actually trace with your finger and do the same shape at the same time. That's one thing that actually helps me to draw because it forces me also to continuously look at what I'm drawing. At this stage, you need to be looking much more at the trainer, much more at the trainer than you are at your piece of paper. Again, you can still see now that my trainer is very, very sketchy, but it is taking place. All right, we're going to refine this later. So don't worry about it at the moment. You're still planning out and you're still putting in all of your little key characteristics that you can see. Your key characteristics are important because it's what makes your trainer or your footwear important. Now that we've mapped out and we've got our basic shapes, as you can see, I'm starting now to put in all of these irregular shapes that I can see. All right. And the further I go into the drawing, the more I would change my value and my pressure of the pencil to refine basically make bolder or darker the lines that I'm happy with. Now, this needs to be brought forward a little bit, I can see, because I'm continuously looking. So I'm not happy with that, so I can change it. Don't worry at this stage about drawing over and over the drawing and making lots of marks. This, again, is the planning, okay? This nice little sweep there. 
I can see, I see where it actually starts, use my fingers. So I estimate that it starts around here, and it goes across to here. The swoosh sign of the Nike. Now this part, I can already see that I've got that wrong, so let's rub this out. Let's do this part here. Oops. using your fingers to measure your proportions. Proportions and shape are very important when doing any observational drawing. Follow the direction of the actual shape. So contour lines and directional lines are very important as well. Even though this is going to be a 2D piece, we want it to look as 3D as possible. So we are going to draw every little curve that we can see. We are going to look very carefully and draw the molded curve of the sole, how it comes up as well. And we are going to go into it and draw in every little detail, including the molding on the sole as best as we can. We draw what we see. We never make it up. It's important. We're continuously observing, critically thinking, looking very carefully at what we are drawing. I cannot emphasize that enough. You need to be looking at your object every two to three seconds, checking and rechecking, modifying as you progress, which means looking at it, stopping every so often think to yourself how can i make this better looking at where it doesn't quite add up at your mistakes and having the courage to change those mistakes modifying your work as you progress that is important okay right it wouldn't be a night train unless you get the swoosh symbol in. So let's get this swoosh symbol in here. We've got now our basic trainer shape that we can see, our basic trainer shape. What we're going to do now is start to put in the details. So let's get this in looking carefully again at this stage you'll see that it's very very sketchy and there's a lot of lines on it don't worry about that at the moment that's what we've got our rubber for okay looking very carefully at all the key characteristics if there's a problem with drawing something trace it first with your pencil Trace a shape, use up muscle memory to outline your shape. Check and recheck your silhouette. Now this is going to go around that swooping line there. Now if I look carefully, this is actually a little bit higher so I've got a choice is this too high let me just check which it is and this is too low so this will go up a little bit you can see how I use my fingers to check my proportions So I've modified that. I'm going to draw all of the parts of this trainer. Now this is the first of two lessons because today we're only drawing our lines, our outlines.
Oh, it's a smudge. I thought it was an actual hole. Oh, it is a hole. Yes, it is. There you go. I'm drawing what I see, which is brilliant. I can see from here, I can see a little bump from where I can see it. So I draw what I see. I put in that little bump. I can see the lace. And I draw the lace how I see it. Okay, let me just move this out of the way so you can see a little bit. I will draw this lace and this time I'm using my actual fingers to focus what I'm doing. And I'll draw this lace. All of these lines, draw them in the actual same direction that they go. Comes down a bit. There's another little lace here. And even all of these perforations, all these dots that make up the description of the trainer, we're going to put those in as well. So again, drawing what we see. All of these little stitches, we're going to put those in. All right, everything that you see, you're going to put in. And once you're satisfied with your basic shape, this is when you start to refine it. Okay, rubbing out any sketch lines that are distracting that you do not need. Now, as you can see, I'm drawing the trainer as a whole. I'm not concentrating on just one part, I'm actually jumping from part to part. Now, if you prefer yourself, you can actually concentrate on one part. There's no really right way of doing this. I'm more of a jumper. I'm looking at the shoe as a whole. All of these are building blocks that make the shoe what it is. So I'm looking at the shoe as a whole. Let's draw this part here properly. I'm drawing little bits at a time. If ever I get stuck on one part and frustrated, I just stop and I just go into another part. Okay? All the little perforations on the tongue you'll be putting in. And we are going to neaten this up later. Right, because at the moment we're just producing a line drawing and I expect this drawing to take at least an hour. I expect to be looking and re-looking and drawing what you see. You see, very much pressure for these lines. I've got to look very carefully now at this shape. This swoop comes down a little bit more. Some minor details that I've got to modify. But all of these details are very important. The more details and key characteristics that you have in your object, the more successful your drawing will be. Okay?
So, I'm going to leave this for now, ready for next lesson. First, you map out your outline, breaking your object down into simple shapes to get your proportions. Use your finger to measure if you're doing it life size. Check your actual proportions. Compare parts of the trainer to other parts of the trainer as well to check. Okay, so know that this is more or less right. All right, I'm happy with these proportions in general. All right, really take time and observe. Really take time and observe. Draw what you see. All right, draw what is in front of you. Every little nook, every cranny, every crevice, every bump, every tear, every thread, you draw what you see in front of you. The details are important. All right, modify and check your work as you progress. What makes a good artist is their ability to self-evaluate their own work and know what to do to make it better. And that's what you need to do. You need to get into the habit of self-evaluating your own work, modifying it, taking it a step back, looking and see what you can do to make your work better. Okay? And relax. Relax when you do your drawing. Now, I'm going to continue with this and neat it up a little bit, ready for next lesson. Thank you, Year 9. I'll see you next lesson. Goodbye.